Welcome to the solution to paving problem. Now, last week I set you the challenge where if we had these slabs that were one metre by half a metre, if I wanted one one long, there was one way of doing it. If I wanted one that was too long, there was two ways of putting out. And we built this up and I showed you that for three, there were three ways and that for four, there were five ways. And we got a solution that looked a bit like this, okay? You'll notice it didn't follow a pattern. It didn't go one, two, three, four ways. Okay, for some reason four was missing for four long. Now, if you worked out five, you should have discovered that for five, there are in fact eight ways of doing it. Okay, I've listed them all here. Every one of them is five paths long, Every uh, five steps long. Every one of them is unique. There are no two the same there. OK, there are some that are the opposite of each other. So, for example, that one is the opposite of that. But for the sake of this, they are different patterns. So we get a pattern that looks like this. One, two, three, five, eight. And well, this doesn't seem to follow a rule. OK, it doesn't go up the same amount each time. And in fact, if we start to look at what it goes up, we discover the sequence. This goes up one. This goes up one, this goes up two, and this goes up three. Now, at first inspection, you may not notice, but there's little things to notice here. Notice how it goes up one, up two, up three. So the next one, you could make a prediction that the next one is going to go up Five. I'm not going to suggest it goes up four because at the beginning it went up one, up one. OK, so this next one I expect to be 13. And I'll show you in a moment exactly what those 13 will look like. But a bit before that, I'm going to show you exactly why that's the case. Now, I have got here my answer for three long and four long. And these are my solutions for this problem here. Now, in order to make these five long, I could put two extra ones here, extra ones here, and extra ones there. That now makes these three long ones five long. And similarly, if I took all these and I put one at the end of each of them, that will give us all the ones that are five long. Now, notice none of these are the same. OK, by adding two at the end, there are none here that have two, two horizontal at the end. There are none here that have one vertical one at the end. So these must be different to these. And the original solutions we had were all different. So we can see that five long can be got by doing three long plus four long. So in that case, we have eight is three plus five. And so that's why I predict, going back to my previous page, that the next one will be 13. And I can show that if I took these here, if I put two horizontal ones there, Two horizontal there, two horizontal there, two horizontal there, two horizontal there. That would give me all the ones with two horizontal ones at the end. And then one vertical one down at the end of each one of these. That will then give me all the ones with one vertical one down at the end. So we get five plus eight is 13. Now this set of numbers, one, one, three, five, eight, 13. We can continue this pattern. If we add on 8 here, we get 21. If we add on 13, we get 34. And if we add on 21, we get 55. These numbers are called Fibonacci numbers. OK, and they are an amazing sequence of numbers. They will come up in all manner of places in nature. And next week's task or this week's task will actually be trying to discover some of these in nature and see if you can find examples of them. So 
The simple fact is, to find the next number, you add the two previous numbers together. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, 5 plus 8 is 13, 8 plus 13 is 21, 13 plus 21 is 34, and 21 plus 34 is 55.